Lessons for Butterflies, it's Coach Renee. I'm back with another video. As always, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for some positive inspiration and some practical life advice, then you're in the right place. So just go ahead and click that subscribe button. For all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being a part of the Fierce Butterfly Nation. I need all of you to make sure you click that bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Well, as y'all can see, your girl is not feeling her best right now. My God, I am so tired and I have a little bitty flare up. Hubby and I decided at the last minute to do a quick getaway and so we went up to Atlanta. As you can see, I got hooked up with my sister and I got my retwist done. Yay, no more frizz going on up there. I don't know if I'm the only one like this, but when I get my hair done, I like it to get wore out <laughs> for a little bit, like another week. And another week, I'll be loving it. But then, with the oldness comes the frizziness. So, hey, either way it goes, we always find something to complain about. But anyway, I'm glad I was able to get my hair done. What did we do? So we went up to Georgia. We spent time with family. I was finally able to visit the indoor aquarium. I've always wanted to visit that place. You know, hey, if it has something to do with nature, I'm all in. But I have to, um, when I get a chance, I got to edit that video so that I can show y'all my experience. But yeah. That's another time. I'm not going to edit today. I'm really not. Not that video because it was a lot of clips. And Anywho, what I wanted to do, I wanted to come in today to encourage you all to protect your peace. Guard your mind. Protect your heart. Protect your peace. Watch and be mindful of anything or anyone that tries to come in to steal, kill, and destroy your peace, your vision, your joy, all of that good stuff. Because it's important that we hold on to it. So I want you to be very watchful and very prayerful. Stay alert. One thing about the enemy, the enemy doesn't always come in with this big shebang. A lot of times the enemy comes in to just chip away little small chips here and there to chip away at your love, to chip away at your peace, your joy, your sanity, your focus. You know, it comes in to distract you from the bigger picture. I'm reminded of the scripture. He says that when I was a child, I spake as a child. I did things like a child. You know, I, I conducted myself as a child. But when I became grown, thank you, Paul, when I became a grown man or a grown woman, I had to put away those childish things, which caused me to become more mature. You get what I'm saying? It's time to grow up, people of God. Leave the foolishness behind. There's a lot of people that have lost their mind, dead in the grave, or locked away in prison because of foolishness. So I want y'all to be mindful of your day, be watchful and prayerful, and ask God to surround you with his peace and his joy so that you can stay focused on what God has called you to do, so that you can stay focused on your peace of mind, so that you don't let the enemy come in to try to taint your heart and taint your mind and taint your words to become a mockery of your goals and your vision. So that's what I wanted to share with you all today. I'm going to get me some rest. Um, I'm going to try to move around. But I just don't feel like it today. <laughs> but I'm going to figure things out. Another flare-up. But I'm not going to let it get me down. So y'all be encouraged. Enjoy your day. Make sure you watch yourself. And remember to be good to yourselves. And be good to one another. Because it makes the world a much happier place. Blessings. Love y'all. Whatever some good life. <laughs>